Who am I? GST. GST not only benefits our nation but also for traders. GST means goods and service tax. Our nation campaign towards GST is one nation, one market, one tax. This campaign is for India to have one market on the whole. There are so many taxes such as excise duties, service tax, sales tax, that is VAT, octroi tax, road tax, entertainment tax, property tax, stamp duty and so on. GST replaces all these taxes. Let's see the benefits of GST. According to Indian economists as well as Western economists, GST will raise the Indian economy by 2%. How is this possible? The important hurdle faced by the traders is logistic. For example, today, while transporting goods in lorry from Tamil Nadu to Delhi, it takes 3 days only. But in reality, it takes 8 days. The reason behind this, it has to stop in all the check posts. For the verification and to pay the taxes like road tax, check post payment. This leads to logistic inefficiency in our country. This problem is being overthrown by GST through e-way bill. The smartness of e-way bill is that the goods will reach its destination in a short span of time. This leads to increase in logistic efficiency which also increases production by 20% and result in increase in GDP growth by 2%. First, it is assumed that Indian economy First, it is assumed that Indian economy will have an uplift by 2%. At present, Indian GDP growth is 7% and along with this GST, GDP will increase to 9%. Secondly, experts also say that there are chances to eradicate black money and corruption. This is because a GST implemented in India is purely technology oriented model. Digital India campaign is quite popular in our country which has its base on GST. All the traders have to transact their input credit and payment through internet only, which works through PAN number map. They cannot give separate turnover for VAT and excise duty as these come under single tax GST. Since taxation is done online, there is a necessity for the traders to maintain proper records. As corruption will be eradicated by GST, there is possibility for minimum government and maximum governance, said by our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, and all other state finance ministers also. This minimum government and maximum governance can be achieved by GSTM, that is, Goods and Service Tax Network. Through GST, there are chances for developing states to develop. GST also refers to destination-based tax and consumption-based tax. States which have highest consumption will also have highest GST, which is the revenue to the state government. But you may think that the states that produces the highest, like Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Maharashtra, face loss. But it is said that the loss will be compensated by the government. To conclude the GST has its own benefits to the country, it is a technology reform, business reform, a reform that entirely changes the Indian economy. As a citizen of India, it is our duty to know about the monopoly tax that is GST to be continued in the next episode. Thank you.